Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. This is Reb Zev once again. What's going on everybody? Hope it's all good. Today is the 10th of Tevet, the fast of Tevet. It's also, as our dear brother Yaakov reminded us, the yard site of Rebbe Nassen, Reb Nassen of of Breslov, if you will, Rebbe Nachman's chief disciple. And because of him, we have so many of Rebbe Nachman's writings with us today. So we're very grateful for Rebbe Natan, Reb Nassen of blessed memory. I'd like to read a prayer that he wrote, a translation of a prayer that he wrote. Help me, God, to be strong and determined in serving you. Never let me fall. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take your spirit of holiness from me. Grant me the skill to engage in spiritual ascent, to attain higher states of mystical perception, and grant me the skill to return to the mundane and to serve you through simple tasks of everyday life. Help me to find you everywhere, for if I rise in heaven, you are there. And if I make my bed in Sheol, in the abyss, you are there. May I always cleave to you, and in my relationship with you, let me experience the fulfillment of the verse, I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. You know, and we need to remember, like the prayer says, Hashem is with us everywhere. And one of the great challenges of life is sometimes to really be able to serve wholeheartedly in those mundane moments. Sometimes when we achieve some sort of spiritual uh, moment, it's hard to come down into the mundane. But really... That's where the rubber meets the road, as we say in, in America, and especially in English, when we are serving God in the mundane, when we are down in the trenches, when we are out there among the people and among our family and people that uh, may be more challenging for us, that's when it's real. That's when we need to have that connection to our true self and to Hashem and to find, as Yaakov said in his video, all those good points that we have because those good points are God. And uh, really even to try and celebrate our mistakes um, so that our mistakes won't capture us and hold us down. Don't worry about the mistakes too much. Learn from the mistakes. And, and move on in a healthy way, in a way knowing that you've accomplished something even through a mistake. Because God is good and good is God. And it's a beautiful thing when you think about it. To focus on our good points and to understand that that's God. And I pray that as we're fasting today, that we can connect to that place the good place inside of ourselves, knowing that we're connecting to Hashem, we're connecting to God. And I pray that we're really able to uh, celebrate even. I know for a fact my daughter today, um, she's not fasting per se. She's only 10. So she doesn't fully fast. Um, and she eats less and she she doesn't eat things that she particularly enjoys on a fast day like she won't eat certain treats and things but one thing she did she said you know it's a fast day but I want to be happy and I want to rejoice and she's doing a great job she's helping keeping us going and of course when I reminded her that it was the uh, yard site of Rebbe Nassen she got very happy and she said, well, then we should 
talk about Rib Nassen and, and we should uh, we should celebrate his memory. And so we've been doing that today. And it's been wonderful. And I hope everybody's having a meaningful fast. For those of you who are fasting, I hope it's meaningful for you. I hope you're establishing connection. For those of you who aren't fasting for whatever reason, don't worry. We got you covered. We love you. We're, we're, we're taking care of you. Don't worry about it. No problem. And just remember that uh, God is with us everywhere, as Reb Nassen's prayer says, and that we can serve him in the most mundane things as well as the obviously spiritual things. And it's more important, really, to serve in the mundane things. And again, that's the whole point of the Amuna Project and, and what uh, Rav is teaching us is we need to be out there and we need to learn to be out there for the people because that's how we're gathering in the shards of light that's how we're spreading the message of love and redemption so I'm excited guys I'm excited and I'm learning more and more every day about myself and even when I find more limitations or things that I'm struggling with, I'm learning to just say, okay, that's something I'm working on or that's something I'm going to work on.